Claro, good evening, Luis. Good evening, Elizabeth, Mario, and Martiel. Thank you for being on time. How are you doing today? Did you I'm have a good day? Great, teacher. You're good? Yes. Excellent. It was okay. What about you, teacher? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, in the afternoon, it was a little difficult to get here for the traffic. But oh, really? Yes, I think that the traffic has been heavy. Uh, maybe people is doing um, arrangements for tomorrow, I guess, probably. Um, are you a mother teacher? Yes, I have two kids. Mm -hmm. ah, I imagine that's, that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, so uh, happy happy Mother Day for tomorrow. Thank you. Did you receive the message that tomorrow we will have a day off, right? No classes. Ah. Yeah. That sounds no. great. <laughs> <laughs> have any plans for tomorrow? Mm, I don't know. Not really. No plans for tomorrow? Just um I will cook for my wife. Oh, excellent. <laughs> That's a yeah. nice detail. In the oh, wow. That's yeah. nice detail of you. And um, are you a good cook? Mm, yes, I like uh, I like it. Um, oh, you like cooking. Mm, yes. That's nice. Good. So I hope that everything goes well, and I'm sure that your wife's gonna be happy. Uh, thank you, did you? And the rest of you, how are you doing? Any plans for tomorrow? Oh, Elizabeth says it's still on the way, on the camino, dice. Eh, también creo que Carlos escribió que todavía va de camino, pero no lo veo conectado. Um, Victor también está de camino y yeah. so, me imagino que los agarró el tráfico <laughs> y yeah, está pesado maybe. me imagino que por la gente haciendo arreglos para no lo que se pueda adelantar ahora I guess well, um, well um, in the meantime we are going to start with the class so let's see Okay, well, the first exercise that we have is on page 16 of your material. You will find this um, exercise in number six. This is the one that we're going to work in now. It's a matching exercise and you will use your dictionary for this one. So we have the words, we have learn A, publicity stunt, bundling, public relations, loyalty offering, and sampling. And then we have like the meaning, personalized incentives, the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it, offering several products of for sales as one combined product, and then the professional maintenance of favorable public image and a planned event designed to attract the public's attention. So I think that probably you will need a dictionary, but um, I see that the vocabulary is pretty easy. So you can try without a dictionary. Uh, to match the words with the meaning. I'll give you some time for you to do that. And then we're going to check. You can do it in your notebook if you don't have the material printed. That's okay, you can do it in the notebook.
Ready? Have you finished? Or you need more time? We need more time, teacher, please. No problem.
Hello, teacher. Hello. Finished? I think the number one. Uh -huh. So it's letter yeah, A. This is, uh, is done. Letter A. Uh -huh. It's according with personalized incentives. What oh. what the uh, pronounced this one? Personalized. Mm -hmm. Personalized incentives. Person personalized incentives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this is a letter A. Okay, and the rest of you, what do you think? I'm sorry, Mari. Loyalty of parent. Oh, you're breaking off. Se le escucha como un recortado. Tal vez no puede escribir. La letra Loyalty of parent. No sé si me escuchas. Mm. No, sorry. Hello. No, they're not here. I think it's a uh, letter E. Letter E sampling. Yeah. Which the one? promotion, the promotion of a product by distributing samples. Yes, that's letter E. Correct. Sampling is the promotion of a product by distributing sample of it. Now, offering several products for uh, sale as combined product. What letter do you have there? In that one, offering several products. Letter B. Yes, bundling. That's correct. Bundling. Now, the professional maintenance of a favorite public image. Letter D. Mm -hmm. And that one is letter C. The professional maintenance of a favorite public image. And the last one? I think this one is a letter D. Or no? Okay, let me write the answers. Okay, and that's publicity stand. It's Uh huh. Publicity stunt. It's here. A. The far end. Okay, this is what you should have. So letter A, publicity stunt. It's a planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Esto de publicity stunt eh, sería lo que en español son trucos eh, publicitarios. 
y una forma de truco publicitario es un evento planeado para atraer eh, la atención de las personas. B, bundling is offering several products for a cell size a combined product. A public relations is the professional maintenance of a favorable public image. Loyalty offering son incentivos personalizados. Eso es para loyalty, eso es como más personal, es como un programa de lealtad para ciertos clientes, es algo personalizado. Y la letter E sampling es la promoción de un producto por medio de la distribución de eh, muestra de él, samples of it. So, así debería de haber quedado. No sé si así lo tenían porque se está oyendo como entrecortado. Pero sí escuché algunas de sus respuestas, Martiel, que estaban correctas. No sé si con las demás estábamos igual. Um, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. So, I hope that the rest of you have same answers and we can continue with the next activity. No, let's see. Okay, for the next, I have uh, this uh, for a speaking practice. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, yes, for speaking practice, we have these 12 questions um, to talk about restaurants, right? What's the name of your favorite restaurant? Why do you like it? Are you going to eat at a restaurant today? Why? Why not? As following question. Um, would you like to work at a, as a restaurant chef? Why? Why not? What kind of restaurants are there in your neighborhood? Is it okay to eat at restaurants every day? Why? Why not? Number six, what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Why do you like it? How many times a week do you eat at a restaurant? When was the last time you ate at a restaurant? Tell me about a really bad restaurant you have eaten at. Do you think you spend too much money at restaurants? How much money should I should you give a waiter uh, or a waitress as a tip? Do you watch TV shows about restaurants? Why or why not? Those are the questions that we are going to practice. Uh, is there any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? Is there any question? I have a question, teacher. Yes. What does what does mean wasters? Uh, and the, the number eleven. In number eleven, we have um waiter and waitress. The difference is that waiter is for male, and waitress is for female. En esta, en el caso de waiter, es pocas profesiones las que se, se van a, se distinguen por, por género. Eh, waiter sería mesero y si es eh, femenino, si es una mesera, se dice waitress. Ah, ok, te uh -huh. Son pocas las profesiones u ocupaciones que se distinguen por género. Ahora, si es como en general, la palabra es server. Ahí se las pongo en el chat. To everyone. Okay. So you write server. Server. Es para ambos. Server. Pero si queremos eh, decirlo por género, para masculino, mesero sería server. Y femenino, eh, mesera, waitress.
Is there any other question? Okay, the idea uh, of this is that you practice your speaking with your classmates. Uh, is there are a few chances that we can practice speaking, so we're going to do it today in the breakout rooms. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing. I don't remember if I sent the presentation. Let me check. I think I did. Or it was in yesterday's. Let me check in the group. Uh... Okay, I sent it yesterday, but I have modified it. So I'm going to recent uh, this one. Creo que estaba en la de ayer, but anyways, uh, la volví a modificar para agregarles más práctica. Yo creo que está en lo de ayer, pero igual se lo puede mandar. Okay, it's ready. I send it to the group so that you can practice speaking. Uh, remember, I have uh, like a couple of people that cannot participate. I alrededor de cuatro personas que no pueden participar ahorita porque van de camino por el tráfico y etcétera. Entonces son bastantitos. Si pues los quedan en un grupo donde hay muchos oyentes y no hay quien participe, me pueden escribir. Um, para moverlo de grupo, para que puedan practicar speaking. So let's see. Okay. Oh my God.
Şimdi ben Ya masaya Teacher No me deja compartirles La presentación So sorry, let me Let me fix that Ok, try again Thank you Ahí está Ok Gracias, sí, sí. Ok, somos cuantos. Ay, sí, Cecia, Francisco, Julissa, Mario, en Abigail, pero Abigail creo que está solo como oyente. No sé si va sí. Pero tenemos cuatro, quiero ver, Cecia, Francisco, Julissa y Mario, son cuatro. Cuatro. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí empezamos. Si quiere empiezo haciéndole las preguntas. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? Hola. ¿Con quién está ahorita? Con usted. ¿Eh? Con usted. Ok, permítame. Es que bien, 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 bien. Poco escucho. Pero que no, no lo he puesto atención. Ok. Lo número one. Sí. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? Uh, My favorite restaurant is uh, China Walk. Okay. Why do you like it? Um, uh, July is that means um, Because of the variety of food. And because of the variety of food. Okay. Are you going to eat at a restaurant today? Yeah. Why not? Mm. No. Mm. Not. No. Uh, no. Why not? Why no. O si quiere, hágame usted las preguntas, le contesto y luego yo se las hago. I'm waiting for a special date. I'm waiting for a special date. Ok, empecemos, porque no estaba haciendo las, las respuestas. Ok. Number one, what's the name of your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Buffalo Wings. 
Why do you like? Like it. Uh, I like it because um, well, I like the taste and the environment of the restaurant. Okay. Are you going to eat a restaurant today? No, I am not. Why? Because it's it's on expensive. Okay. Would you like to work a restaurant chef? Yes, I like it. Why? Because it's delicious, the, the sauces. Okay. What, what kinds of restaurants are there in your neighborhood? Pupuserías. <laughs> Honey, pupuserías. Yes. Pupuserías and taquerías. Uh, teacher. Uh, uh, yes. La pronunciación de eso. Ne neighborhood. Neighborhood. Uh -huh. What okay. kind? Kinds. What kinds of restaurants are there in your neighborhood? They just Neighbor. say pupuserías and Mexican Mexican restaurants. Mexican food. Mexican food, uh huh. And you can take turns. I don't know. Maybe ask one question to Cecia, then Cecia ask a question to Martiel, y para que todos vayan a hacer como una cadena. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Martiel okay. está ahí awesome. disponible ¿Tenemos también. Otros? Tenemos a Julisa. Está Mario, está Valmore. Solo Abby no puede contestar. Solo Abby. Yo creo Solo que Abby. Abby. Solo Abby veo que está como oyente. Uh -huh. Ah, pues, el Magdiel. Um, it is okay to eat at restaurant every day? Um, no, I said. No, yeah. it isn't. Uh, because if you go to the go to the restaurant every day is is because uh, you are much money because the food in the restaurant is more expensive than in your house I agree. <laughs> Okay, Magdal. Yes. Uh, what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Um, no sé si me preguntaría a mí o a otro de los compañeros que no han participado. Creo que estaba el More, Julisa. Mario. Mario. I'm ready, Julisa. Are you ready, Yulisa? Deme un momento que estoy terminando de enviar un correo al trabajo todavía. Okay, no problem. Uh, Maybe Mario or Balmori. Okay, so it seems like it's just going to be Francisco, Cecia, and my dear practicing. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, dele, Francisco, contesta. Okay, I, I, I want to, I'm going to start. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, my favorite fast food restaurant is 
the Mexican food. Um, what is yeah, what's the okay. name is is that restaurant? And specific. Um, Maybe La Calaca is. Yes. <clears throat> La Calaca yeah. is, a, is a Mexican Mexican food. Another is Los Parados. No sé si todavía existe. Los Parados, La Campana. La Campana. El Zócalo. Um, de acá en Sonsonate solo está Chepenacho. Chepenacho, ok. Chepenacho. That's ok. Nada más. Chepenacho. Um, hey, why do you like it? Why do you like it? Why the do food you like is delicious, it? the prices are good. Why do you like it? Uh, delicious. The food is delicious or expensive. Repeat. Is uh, the prices is is it cheap or expensive prices? Yes, answer. Okay, good. Continue practicing. Okay. Okay, tell me, Francisco. Okay, repeat. Tell me a question. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you eat a restaurant? Um. I went a restaurant the last week. The last week, exactly. That was um, Friday. Uh, on Friday, I went to to the Gran Villa. Um, a skill restaurant. Skill it. Skill it, yeah. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. Okay. Ok, um, okay si quiere Cecia, pregúntale a Francisco. Sí. O Francisco, a Cecia. Cecia, send me a voz de really bad restaurant you have eating, eating it. Um, yeah, maybe. Papa John's pizza. He doesn't like because the dates um, for me are bad. It's bad, and I don't know the the pizza. It was cold. Okay. Do you think you spend too much money at restaurant? Do you think you spend too much money? I don't like <clears throat> spend much money at restaurant. Uh, but if the if the food is delicious, I think 
teacher, how do you say val, vale la pena? <coughs> how do you say vale la pena si la comida es cara o gastar? And there is in the meaning chat, it works. It works. It works. Words. Ahí se lo escribí en el chat de la meeting. It works. Okay. Okay. It's the pen of the restaurant. Yeah. It's, it's the pen of the restaurant. Um, it's my turn. How much money should you look, you give a uh, whiter or white dress as a tip? And Cecilia or Francisco? Um, I'm, I'm repeating the question. No. Cecilia. Oh, okay. Tell, tell me. It's the point of the, the, the service in the restaurant. <laughs> Because in, in, in some of restaurants include in the in the account. In the uh, yeah, you can say bill or receipt. Okay, in the bill uh, include the uh, a tip seri teacher. Yes, if they include uh, or they charge 10% as tip. As tip. Mm -hmm. it, it's commonly they, they, como se ellos cobran? They bill they 10%. Charge, the, uh, 10 they charge, es como ellos cargan. The, they, 10% of the total. Uh -huh. They charge a 10% of the total amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Tip. Do you watch TV shows about restaurants, Francisco? Yeah. Top, top chef. Health kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> really top chef the uh, celebrity. <laughs> yes, it is interesting. Shows. Yeah, interesting. Yes. And you learn a couple of tips, right? A combination of foods. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, thank you, classmate. Thank you. Okay, see you in the main section. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, I think that Jess Balmore is in a breakout room. So we're going to check attendance. So remember if it is possible for you to turn on your cameras and say present as soon as you hear your name. I still see that many people is like listener here, but at least maybe you can um, type in the chat. So I, I can be like acknowledged that you're present in the meeting. Let's start. Abigail Elizabeth. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Abigail. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Abigail Mendoza. Teacher. Oh, yes. Yo más tarde oyente dijo que estaba un, eh, mal de salud, creo. Oh, yes, yes, she is there. Thank you so much for reminding me. Thank you. Valmore Alexander. Valmore Alexander. Is it in the, in the chat? Okay. Uh, Carlos Emilio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Humberto. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Okay, he wrote the, okay. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you for writing in the chat. I guess you're still driving. <laughs> Cecia Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Um, Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Uh, Janet Fernanda. Uh, Julissa Yamile. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esau García. Present teacher. Thank you. Merlin Alejandra Grande. Marilyn Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Creo que escribió en, en WhatsApp que iba a estar ausente por el perrito. Oh, uh, yes, she was. Uh, okay. Thank you so much for that reminder. Mirna Janet Angel. Mirna Janet. Santos Cristina. And Victor Ponilla. Okay. Thank you, Victor. Let me continue sharing the screen with you. Okay, uh, this is the speaking practice that we just had. Now let's moving on. Uh, that would be the, the end of section number one. And we're going to move to section number two, which is procedures. We continue um, with the topic of the restaurant industry, but we're going to uh, discover about procedures in a restaurant. And these are our competencies. Uh, name a variety of procedures going on different areas of a restaurant. Describe the steps of a procedure at the workplace. Make suggestions about the relevant subtopics in a procedure manual. Design a basic checklist to evaluate a procedure. Um, and we have some vocabulary about uh, procedures in a restaurant that we're going to be covering in section number two. And as uh, you can see on the first page of unit number two, which is 17, we start with the, 
with the objectives here is to be, uh, name a variety of procedures going in different areas of a restaurant. Um, yes, we have the steps of a waiter here and we have to number them. Number the steps a waiter follows to take us and serve the order. We have take customer's order, confirm the order, seat the customer, serve the food, greet the customer, and handle the food correctly. Is there any new word of vocabulary here? Um, what's the meaning handle? Handle is manipular. Manipular. Okay, y este... Server, I imagine is servir, like... Servir, uh -huh. yes, correct. Teacher, mm -hmm. how do many set set a customer? The word set. Set, eh, sentar. Sorry. Eh, ahí debería de ser sit porque es eh, así como está escrito ahí sit es el asiento, así okay. el asiento como tal, el, el, la silla. Yes. So, okay. tendría que ser SIT, sit. No, no, no es así, es, es, es un errorcillo por ahí. Any other question? Okay, if there are no more questions, we can number the steps from one to six. And then we check.
Have you finished? Miss is just looking for the order of the steep or a specific, a specific thing. Yes, um, just the order. Okay. Mm -hmm. You finished? Yes. Okay. Would you like to share with us what is the step number one? Number one is greet the customer. Greet the customer. Good. Excellent. Number two? Uh, take customer order. Mm. Sit the customer. Sit the customer. Uh -huh. Sit the customer. Sit the customer. The customer. Number three. Uh, take customer take order. order. Yes, take the customer order. Number four. Confirm the order. Confirm the order, number five. Um, I think I have a pequeña duda. I don't know if it's handle the food correctly or service the food. Yes, should be handle the food correctly and finally serve the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation and for helping us with this. So we will continue now. In this, uh, we will use the dictionary for this vocabulary and write the meaning of this word, handle, confirm, payment, reading, and notify. Is there any new word here? You can use an English English dictionary to um to get the meaning of yes. Hello. Okay. Yes, significado. Hmm? Okay. Entonces el primer que dijo que era manipular. Yes. Yes. Yes, es manipular y creo que sería la única palabra que sería como nueva para ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí, Handle. porque lo que sería confirmar, pagar, saludar. Y notificar. La última creo que notificar. Sí, entonces ah, yo pienso que este ejercicio es como mm -hmm. que no, not like very necessary, so we can continue, podemos avanzar al siguiente. Porque ese, pues, es, es vocabulario que ustedes ya manejan. Sí. La única palabra no era handle. <ríe> so, yes. Vamos a seguir con el cuatro, que es el paywork. Um, which of the following are the most common issues with the service you have experienced in the restaurant? And um, we will do it here in the main section as a whole group. Um, let's see. What do we have? The waiter gets your food. The, you did not ask for the food takes too long to be served after ordering it the waiter is not polite the dish you want to order is not available but it appears listed in the menu and the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish in the where it is to the table 
Now I'll give you time for you to check uh, the ones that you consider are the most common issues with the service that you have experienced in a restaurant. And then we will share. Finished?
Okay, let's see if we have volunteers to share which of the following are the most common issues with service you have experienced in a restaurant. What do you have? What did you check? For me, teacher, the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. And the dish in the menu differ, differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to table, to the table. Yes, okay, similar like me, yes. Thank you so much for sharing, Cecilia. Anybody else? Anybody else would like to share? Okay, Alin says, yeah, I think uh, you're in, in vacation mode already. <laughs> okay, so as we are uh, talking about common issues with service, um, sometimes if you get bad service and you're a customer, um, you may be like angry or uh, you can feel frustrated due to bad service. Or maybe, um, I don't know if you work in a restaurant or you're uh, in a way attend customers. Do you work with customers? Anybody in the group, do you work with customers? Okay, well, Not the job. okay, thank you so much for confirming. So in case that um, with bad service and any, if you, in some cases, you can get in that situation, you as a customer or some manager, et cetera, there are some uh, steps to follow uh, when you, that can help you to handle or manage a situation with an IR customer. And uh, they are called like uh, diffuse the IR customer. D, for example, is don't lose your cool. Don't take things personally. Listen, take notes, stay committed to the customer. A uh, volunteer to read the next slide. Me, teacher. Thank you, Matia. <clears throat> e is for encourage venting. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't interrupt, give bearable, bearable notes. Mm -hmm. What does mean that? Okay, excellent question. E is encouraged for venting. You know, venting is um, let the people to say what they have to say. Que se desahoguen. Desahogarse en español sería lo que es venting en inglés. Entonces es como dejarlo que, que se... Que se desahogue. Let the customer venting. Let the customer vent. Y cuando usted deja un customer que, que, que venting, o no solo con los customers, sino que cuando algún amigo, alguna amiga este, se desahoga con usted, eso es venting. 
lo que normalmente se hace cuando una persona se está desahogando es just listen, you don't interrupt, but you uh, acknowledge people that you are um, listening with verbal notes. Like, for example, okay, uh -huh. como asentir. La palabra note es asentir. Puede serlo solo con el gesto. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero no toda la vida estamos cara a cara, ¿verdad? Sino que a veces la gente pues está por teléfono, ya sea que sea un cliente o algún amigo, familiar. Entonces, verbal notes es como asentir verbalmente, como decir, ajá, ok, uh -huh. entiendo. Para que sepan que estamos ahí escuchando. Para eso sirve los verbal notes, en caso que la cosa sea por teléfono. Y si es eh, cara a cara, pues es, como puede ser solo con los gestos. No, you just know, like. Para que sepan que sí estamos poniendo atención. Ok. This is, uh, are we okay with this, Mike Dion? Yes, George. Thank you. Okay, this good. This is a new phrase for me. Yes, uh, that's why I include this. Se los incluí por acá porque es, es, es bueno no solo si ustedes tienen. Um, manejan clientes sino que también para el día a día eh, es vocabulario nuevo y es, 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 es bueno saber so, en esta slide creo que habían dos palabras nuevas vent y no and that's good thank you so much now uh, volunteer to read this one A volunteer to read. Okay, Miss. Thank you, Francisco. It's for focus on feeling. You say empathy. Uh, apolo apologize. Apologize. Blamelessly. Blamelessly. On before. On behalf. Behalf of the company. Mm -hmm. Offer to help. Offer to help. Thank you so much, Francisco, for reading. And uh, new vocabulary? Yes. Um, apolo apologize. Apologize. Blame. Basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apologize is disculparse. Blame. Eh, Blame es culpa. La palabra blame, hasta donde está la primera E. Blame es culpa. Blamelessly es sin culpar o sin, sin culpabilizar. Uh -huh. Ok. Y, uh, the... Behalf. Behalf. Behalf es en nombre de. En nombre de. Oh. Uh -huh. En ese caso sería disculparse sin culpabilizar en nombre de la compañía. Y esa palabra on behalf también les puede servir. Bueno, es, es nueva y es, es muy útil. Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros hacemos algo en nombre o de parte de otra persona. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, si mi jefe me dice, eh, mira, este, necesito que me contacte a fulano y me lo pases, o, o le digas tal y tal cosa. Entonces yo digo, I'm calling you on behalf of José. ¿Ok? Le llamo de parte de José, o en nombre de José. Okay. O estoy viniendo yo representando a alguien, I'm here on behalf of fulano. Ok, thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, now we have a definition in English of empathy. Empathy is identification with an understanding of another's situations, feelings, and motives. So I think that empathy is a, it's a very easy to understand, but I want to say through that. The irate customer. U is for uncover the facts. It's like descubrir los, los hechos, ¿verdad? Para eso necesitamos, what do we need? Ask questions, fill in the information gaps. 
I think that there is no new vocabulary here in this one. Now, let's see. Um, in this one, we have S is for suggest a solution. Don't make excuses for the plumber. Keep the customer involved. Let the customer know that you intend to do um solve to solve the problem. In this one, I think the vocabulary is pretty um easy to understand. E is for end positively by checking. Make sure that the customer understands the action plan. Thank the customer. Um if if there is a script. Use your company's closing script. And then also, the, sometimes it's possible to handle or an aggressive customer, aka the bully. You know what is aka? Ya han visto este aka? Not the term. No. No. Bastante común. Um, Más eh, cuando están llenando formas es also. La primera A stands for also. Ahí se los escribí en el chat. Then the K is known. And the second A as also known as. También conocido como. Eso es bien, bien frecuente, los AKA, um, con, las, con las documentaciones en, en Estados Unidos cuando están eh, llenando formularios, a veces aparece el AKA, es también conocido como. Por ejemplo, si eh, yo tengo, bueno, mi nombre es fulanita, pero estoy también reconocida como otro nombre, ese es el AKA. El otro nombre con el que la persona está reconocida. Más que todo por la gente que tiene doble identidad o documentación por alguna u otra razón. Más ellos con tanto eh, personas que son inmigrantes. Eh, utilizan el AKA mucho en los formularios, así que pues ahí está el dato. Entonces, el, el que se dice the aggressive customer, o sea, hay clientes que son agresivos y también los conocen como the bully. Okay, what do we do with this people? Is allow him or her to vent. ¿Qué dijimos que era vent? Desahogarse. Desahogarse, ajá. Uh -huh. So, permitirle desahogarse. Don't argue. What is argue? No discutir. Excelente. No discutir. Use knowledge and fact and get us straight to the point. And that is it about. Now, let's see. Uh, for more vocabulary, we have this uh, slide with common restaurant complaints. Let's read the, the below list and discuss your ideas on how to prevent these issues and then share with the class. So we have poor quality. As one of the key complaints about restaurant is low quality food overpriced, long wait times, noisy or bad music, rude wait staff, a discrepancy with the bill, bad seating arrangements, and lack of cleanliness. Is there any new word or vocabulary here? What does it mean lack? Lack is falta. En este caso sería falta de limpieza, lack of cleanliness. Any other new word or vocabulary? What is arrange means? Arreglos. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. So yes, bad seating arrangement. Por eso es, es a veces algún problema con los están eh, los arreglos con los sillas o los lugares para sentarse 
es tan mal. Um, for example, in my case, I really love clavo y canela. And the one that is um, uh, closest to my location is in Santa Elena. But I really love the restaurant because the food is delicious and they serve it in a, a very beautiful, uh, the dishes are really beautiful decorated and the prices are reasonable. But um, the, the only problem that I see here is the bad seating arrangements because uh, there are some tables that are uh, next to the, um, the window. But um, the restaurant is, is very small and they have lots of seating, um, like in front of, um, like in the kitchen. So the wait staff goes with the food and they, they are like in um, passing very close to you. So it's very uncomfortable. Uh, los, los asientos los tienen como, hay, hay pocos. Y, y muchas veces, Mm, quedo cerca de donde están pasar y pasar los meseros eh, también pasan los clientes por ahí entonces es, es bien incómodo yo creo que sería el único problema con ellos y a eso se refiere en algunos restaurantes pues todo está bien pero tienen como problemas con donde ponen los, 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 los asientos los lugares para sentarse a veces mucha mente es, es, eh, están en muchas veces están en la pasada de, ya sea de los clientes o del mismo staff o a veces que les pega mucho el sol y pues no hay para dónde hacerse entonces eso sí puede ser un problema en algunos casos bad seating arrangement is there any other question about the vocabulary no questions In this case, it's this lack of cleanliness. ¿Qué dijimos que era lack? Don't you remember? Lack? Falta. 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 So in, you can make combinations, for example, lack of cleanliness, but also in some cases, lack of personal. Falta de personal a veces, de, el restaurante es súper grande, súper lleno y unos tres meseros, yes. Um, or maybe chef, yes. So lack of personal, lack of training in some cases, falta de entrenamiento también. So you can make combinations with, all, with that word of lack. Uh, any other question about the... Vocabulary presented. No more questions? Okay, so there are some issues. Now, we have um, other issues here. So we're going to, um, to work on this one specifically. And we're going to watch that video and identify the issues and possible solutions to prevent that situation to happen again in the future. So we have the video. Let me, as I'm going to stop sharing and get you to, okay, I'm going to share the link and the meeting chat so that you have it handy. Okay, there is the link. You can copy the link and I'm going to create the groups for you to watch the video, identify the issues and offer possible solutions for that. Let me create the breakout rooms. Okay, and there you go.
Hey everybody is back again. So we're going to check attendance and then we're going to share your suggestions. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Cecia Noemí Ramos Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mejiva Rodríguez. Here. Thank you. Janet Fernanda Cortez. Yulisa Yamilet Yalta. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Matiel Esau Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Mirna Janet Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Y Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Y, a ver, ahora el one on one sería para hacer. Si así tiene alguna pregunta o quiere ayuda con algún tema, eh, se puede quedar unos minutitos después de la clase. Yeah. Okay, let's share what are your suggestions. In room number one, we had Victor Palmore, Carlos Humberto, Janet, Carla Ivania, and Matiel Esau. Um, did you have your notes handy? In group number one, do you have your notes handy? What are your suggestions? No, teacher. No? I, I guess I understood exactly. Oh, you watched the video? Yes, uh, yes. The conversation? Okay. Um, what was the issue? Do you remember what was the issue? What was the matter or problem that you were having? I can see the oh, you can, you can. sushi. Oh, yeah, that was a sushi night event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, 
¿Cómo se dice el, el voto, la, la comida? Uh, the waiter throw the food. Yeah, the waiter uh, the floor. Um, accidentally, probably, he accidentally throw or drop the food. I think uh, accidentally. Mm, okay, that was an accident. Uh -huh. um, they doesn't have any more uh, white rice. Mm -hmm. But he didn't know that there are more in your in your table. And and the, the, the chef uh, um when went for more rice, I think I think so. Okay. But there there are there are many rice in your in your table. In the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what was uh, yeah, that was the main issue and in one moment that they um it apparently they didn't have enough rice. So can you think in any suggestion for them? To avoid that happen again? Anybody, maybe from room two or room three? Anybody? Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. Um, for me, bad organization. The mm -hmm. test should be organized in the ingredients. Bear. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's correct, little food. O sea, hacen poquita comida. Oh, not enough food. Ah, oh, okay. The chef should prepare enough food. Enough food, uh-huh. Only that. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this. Yeah, those are wonderful suggestions and very useful. Uh, does anybody else have different suggestions? No more suggestions? Okay, good. So uh, in that case, um, that would be it for today's class. And uh, remember that tomorrow we do not have classes because of Mother's Day. I hope that you enjoy your holiday and see you on Thursday 11th, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you so much for joining and have a good night. Okay, teacher. Happy Mother Day, teacher. Happy Mother. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day. I'm sorry, I was reading it. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Bye, teacher. Bye, see you. Good night. Bye. Enjoy it. Good porque me da tierra de agua para dar 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 porque me da tierra de agua para dar